today I'm going to show you how to make chicken sausages at home. So watch out this video how to make chicken sausages. So I have taken a mixture grinder. I'm adding 300 grams of boneless chicken to it. Now I'll add all the dry ingredients to the boneless chicken. First I'll add 1 teaspoon of salt to it. Next comes 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder. Next I am putting 1 teaspoon of paprika. Next goes 1 teaspoon of oregano. Then 1 teaspoon of pepper powder. It's a pepper powder, yes. Next comes 1 teaspoon of red chilli flakes to give that spicy taste to it. Now I will add, for binding purpose, I need to add 1 teaspoon, 1 tablespoon of corn flour and 2 tablespoon of all-purpose flour to the boneless chicken. And lastly, 1 tablespoon of soya sauce. And the last masala would be 1 teaspoon of tandoori masala. So I have added all the dry ingredients to the boneless chicken and grind it into a smooth paste. Now you can see the consistency. It is a smooth paste. Don't please use any drop of water or oil. It is only the boneless chicken and the dry ingredients. Mix it into a mixture and make it into a smooth paste. Now take a ball of the you know the chicken mince whatever the grinded paste in the mixture in your palm apply a few drops of oil and tighten it first tighten it into a circle tighten it and then roll into the cylindrical shape now it is up to you how how long you want to make and how much you know the diameter wise how much thick you want to make i prefer the thinner ones you know, so, so that in a bread i can instead of using one big round slice of chicken sausage i would prefer to give four small ones now it's totally your choice how to give it so first take a ball press and tighten it yes roll it on your palm and then Gradually give it a cylindrical shape. As I say, it's totally your choice how big, small, lengthwise you want to make. Now, at this point of time, still we haven't cooked the chicken boneless, which is grinded into a mince. It is raw chicken. Now, next step would be boiling the chicken in warm water so you can see it is the homemade chicken sausages we are making it's really really very tasty spicy and delicious ones so you can see the chili flakes you can see the pepper powder the oregano now I have taken aluminium foil I have to wrap the chicken cylindrical sausages very tightly into the aluminium foil and both the edges has to be tightened because I am going to put this foil in boiling water so it has to be tightened because no water should go inside the foil there should not be any space for any water to sit in yeah, so you can see tightly I am rolling the sausage in aluminium foil. Now both the edges I am squeezing it. You know when I am squeezing both the edges, so the shape of the chicken sausages also you will see it once you open it. How nicely it shapes. It takes the shape of the you know the aluminium foil. So this is the third one, it's a smaller one, uh, 
have done and squeezed. In the meantime, I have already put water on the boil. My water is boiling. I will put these three wraps into the boiling water and cover the lid and on medium flame I will keep it for 20 minutes. Yes, so I am checking whether there should not be any space for the water to sip in. So water is boiled in a pan. I have put the wrapped sausages in boiled water for 20 minutes in medium heat. Once after 20 minutes turn off the gas, let it cool down for an hour and then take out the aluminium foil. Now see, I am gradually peeling off the aluminium foil. You will be surprised to see the colour. So you can see now the homemade chicken sausages are ready to eat. How beautiful the color is. Yes, these are the sausages we get to see in the stores. Now it can be on your dining table.